hello in the previous video we have seen like how to work with two different lists in prolog right and in that video i'm talking about this particular video here so we basically try to create a translator right from one language to the another language there now in this video we'll talk about a, another interesting problem in prolog list called concatenating two different list in prolog okay we'll see the challenge first and we'll try to solve it there so for that i just created a very simple diagram so that we can understand the problem and then slowly we will talk about the solution as well so let's let's go to that presentation so basically what we are trying to achieve it over here is we will create a new predicate called concat and there we will be passing three different list here if you see it list one list two and list three now our purpose is to create a concatenation version of the list one and list two into the list three here okay so let's say if i just provide two list a b c and d e f here like a b c as list one and another list d e f as list two and if i pass a variable over here let's say capital x or capital y or capital l i s t three as well so list three will have like the whole list like a b c comma d e f there okay so that's the thing i wanted to achieve it over here now it may pos it may happen that i can give blank list here and here as well but it should work in those cases as well now as we are as we are following the similar approach in previous videos as well right so we will convert this problem into a new problem called let's say if i just able to write a predicate which will help me to prove something like this one let's say whatever list i am giving it over here as a list one and whatever list i am giving it over here as a list two and let's say i have a list three which is having the concatenate version of this two list a new list over here list three so this particular predicate should return me true in that case right because it is the concatenation version of list one and list two here so if i can achieve that then it's very easy right instead of list three i'll be passing a variable and that will give me the result over here so let us first try to see how we can achieve that then we will slowly move into the prolog program so let's say i have a list like this one a b c d let's say i have a list called l1 here i have another list l2 which is this one e f g h i here like this list has four elements and this list has five elements here now i want to have and to basically create a third list basically l3 which is having the concatenation version of these two guys here right a b c d and e f g h i now if you see it here the sequence matters over here right that means the l3 should be having the first element as the first element of l1 because we are concatenating l1 with l2 right then second element should be the second element of l1 similarly third fourth of l1 when it's moving to fifth element i'm basically taking it from the l2 over here right fifth sixth like this one so sequence is important here so now let us sit back and try to reason through it like how how we can design this particular solution here so one thing is we need to basically compare element by element wise right that that is what we have seen multiple multiple times in previous two videos as well so here also we will try to take the similar approach so let's say if we can traverse element wise from l1 and l3 and compare them so i can easily compare a b c d with the first a b c d four element over here like something like this one so i can compare a with a right then i will recursively loop through it right then b with b then c with c and then d with d i can i can compare this one very easily here i know how to write it down but what about this guy over here how how i can do it here right because i have i have i have to write a single predicate over here so how can i write a single predicate which will basically loop through two of the list over here right not a single list two of the list over here basically three of the list over here because this we have to loop through this one we have to loop through this one as well but there is another list over here we have to loop through this one as well but 
it will be very much challenging to write that one right but instead of that if i can see it through here this guy right this l2 is similar to the guy we have it over here right the same list so if i generate a fact something like this one let's say if my if the this portion of the second list is same as this portion of the list and if i just make it as a fact then i do not need to loop through my l2 over here right that that fact will actually help me to determine that now how how i arrive that particular fact because if you see it over here we have taken the looping through approach right so when i am looping through the l1 so when the l1 all the elements are finished i will get a empty list over here right so that means in the in the concatenate predicate whatever it is the first option will be a empty list over there now the second two option is the l2 and the rest of the portion of the l3 here right which is basically same so if i can generate a fact like the first element of that particular concat is a empty list and second element and third element are same because it has to be same for concatenation to work right if the first list is empty the concatenated version of the list should be same as the second list over here right so using that fact we will be able to achieve that one so let's let's go to prolog and try to see how how this things works in 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 prolog program so let us try to write a predicate called concat okay we'll name it as concat here now it is receiving so basically we are giving three list over here right and as i was discussing in that diagram so we have to first loop through list one and compare the elements with the concatenated version of the list right so let us look through it so we know how to look through it we will use that head and tail operator like basically the pipe operator over here so this is the head version so i'll just give the head comma l1 over here i'll write it something this way right so i'm just dividing the initial the first input list as head and tail then tail t for tail of the list one over here right so this is how my first list will be so this we are taking the similar approach whatever we have discussed in the previous video now as i was explaining in that diagram i'll keep the list to as is because i'll develop a fact which will basically take care of this guy so i am not looping through it over here because if you want to loop through it over here right so it will be very difficult to compare with the list 3 over here so list 3 i will have the similar approach here right so head of the list 3 and then pipe tail of the list 3 here okay so that's that's my concat predicate here and as i said we have to recursively loop through that means we will call the same predicate over here but what we will pass as we have discussed in the previous video we pass the tail version of it right so tail of l1 we have not divided the l2 so we will pass l2 as is and we have divided the tail of l3 as well because we want to, to recursively loop through this one and compare right so that will become my first line of my predicate here right so but here if you see it nowhere i am comparing like whether my list 3 head is same as list 1 head is head or not because i have used separate variable which i need to fix it so i will just use the same variable here right so now i am comparing the head of my first list should be same as the head of my concatenated list here now as i said only this version only this line is not enough for this one so let us test it out let's compile it and let's let's first consult this one here okay so if i just go over here and post a query something like this one so i have given abc as a list def as another list as a second argument and i have given abc def list as a third argument here right so ideally it should be telling me true over here because this 
guy is actually the concatenated version of these two guys here so if i just press enter this is telling me false because if i just loop through it because we are looping through the first list and the third list here right so first it got a which is it compared with this a fine then it got b it compared with this b fine then it got c it compared with this c that is also fine but once it finished the list one it got an empty list here right now empty list does not have any kind of head and tail over there right so that means it was trying to it, it did not find anything over here in the head but it did find the element d over here in the head here right when it was trying to compare so which was fading in that case so that's why it gave me false over here so that means the clause we have written over there it's not enough and we have seen in the diagram as well so that's why our second clause will be very much important like how to deal with the empty list over here when it find the empty list then what we can check it over here is whatever portion we have in our l2 is same as whatever rest of the portion we have in our l3 over here that is what i was showing in the diagram as well so let us write that one now so to handle that empty list what we can write is concat right we have a empty list here if we have empty list as our first argument we have a list in our second argument which is in this case is def and we have a list in our third argument over here as well which is this i have if you see it i have used the same l over here the variable over here right that means i am trying to assert like whether these two lists are same which is basically same in our case over here as well right the def and the rest of the portion of the l3 because we are always passing the tail of the l3 over here right always when we are looping through it that means at that moment when this will become the empty list the tail of the l3 will have the def over here right so that is what i am checking it over here so i am making it as a fact so if this is a fact then now it should return me true over here so let us let us compile this and let us try to consult this over here as well so if i just post the similar query now the same query whatever i have given it over here now it is returning me true over here so now we have basically developed a predicate which basically able to tell us whether if we have two list as an input and if we have a third list as an input as well and if the third list is having a concatenated version of the first two list then it should return me true so let us try to check it so if i just give something like e f and g here so it should return me false as well because the third list is not actually the concatenated version of it right so as we have developed the base program now we can play around with this one right so if i just if i just pass a variable over here so let's say x correct instead of the third list so x so x should be the concatenated version of this two list over here and as we have rightly identified it it is the case over here as well because of the backtracking which we have discussed multiple times there right so so this is how we can develop a concatenate clause in our prolog program right in our prolog list now we can use it in various scenarios over here so let us discuss couple of scenarios over here as well but before that let us try to see what will happen if we provide a empty list over here and and see it and see whether this 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 works or not this this boundary conditions also it works or not so if i provide a query something like this one concat and empty list as a first argument def this list as a second argument and this list as a the same def as a third argument that means the concatenated version so this should be true as well right because because this is the concatenated version of this two list over here so that means if we pass an empty list as a first argument it is working here similarly if i pass empty list as a second argument here just like this in this case so i have passed a b c here as well in my first argument so if i concatenate these two guys so it should be a b c as well so that means this guy should be true as well over here 
right which is the case over here so it is working for the list empty list for the second argument over here as well correct and if you see it like this guy is directly working from the second clause we have developed there this guy over here right the first list is empty and second list two lists are same now this guy is working because of the first clause over here right it was continuously looping through it right and it was checking whether head of the first list is same as the head of the concatenated list and it found that at, at last it found an empty list over here and here also it, it found the empty list which is same over here that's why it, it worked over there as well even comparing to empty list it is actually used this particular fact over here as well right so let us try to see some use cases now so let's say if i pass a query something like this one concat x y and a b c so that means i am passing variable as a first and second argument list one and list two here so i have just given a concatenated list here i have not given any other list over here so this one basically will give me all the possible combinations over here which will make this list a b c here something like this one so it could be like x could be full a b c and y could be an empty list right so this could be a possible combination or it could be x equals to a comma b and y equals to only the c so this will also produce the a b c over here right so even it could be x equals to a y equals to b c same thing or x equals to empty list y equals to a b c that is also possible here so this will basically give me all the combinations over here so this is a very nice one actually like if you want to know what could be the possible combination of your list you can you can easily use this particular concat predicate over here now let's see if i post a query something like this one so what we have it over here is this is our concatenated list right so this is the final list here now what i want to achieve it is like what is the after elements of five here and what is the before elements of five here right so that means the output should give me like before if you see this is a variable right because it is starting with a capital letter here so this before will be assigned as one two three four right because of the first list over here because prolog will break the list somewhere over here at around five right because it it, it needs to basically form the concatenated version of the list from two, these two lists only over here, right? So then at the second list, I have provided something like this one, five, then pipe after. That means it will break the second list at five and then it will give me these guys as a value of after over here. So this is what it should be giving me here. And it is giving me over something here like this one as well, right? So this basically is a handy feature as well. Like let's say you have months name in your prolog program and you want to know the before month or after months from a list you can you can easily achieve that using this particular concat operation concat predicate over here as well even instead of list if you just want to achieve like you want to directly get the before and after month you can do something like this one like for by using the similar concept over here whatever we have discussed so i can write something like this one let's say i want to know like what are the before and after number names of four here right so i have written something like this one x comma four comma y using variables here right then i have used pipe and then i have used the anonymous variable here which i don't care about what the value prolog will set it over there similarly i do not care about what are the why the prolog will break at the first list because i know this will break at the one two three because not not one two three one two over here because the way i have written the second list is there is a another element before four over here right so second list will start around this guy over here correct so now as i have given as i have written over here something like x comma four comma y so x y will have x will be having the just before element of four that means three and y will be having just after element of four that is five over here so if i just if I just write it down, so this is this will be the case over here as well, right? So there is a lot of use cases over here of this concat operation as well, or concat predicate over here as well, which we can leverage in our program over here. So hopefully this video was helpful. See you in the next video.